Chapel facility. Mr. Mayor, I'd like to, in light of all this, I move that we table 3166. If seconded, I'd like an opportunity to explain. I'll second that. All right, so we have a motion and a second. I, I guess my, my concern is I'm not quite sure to what benefit a statement will do for us, the citizens of Charlestown, the ratepayers, um, or citizens of the region. Will a statement like this stop the plan from being built? Correct me my, if I'm wrong, but to me, that answer is no. This issue has divided our community. Will this statement help bring us back together? Again, my answer is no. I don't think it will. Will this statement stop all the, the vitriol surrounding this issue? No, I don't think it will. In fact, I think it probably will make it worse. Will this statement relieve the immense pressure brought to us by the state of West Virginia as far as this project goes? I don't think it will. Will this statement undo the zoning changes that allowed this to happen in the first place? I don't think it will. We'll be asked to decide the feasibility of the sewer project. I don't want this project to be viewed as a referendum on any corporation, just as I don't want this statement to cloud our judgment or influence our decision on the sewer project. I don't want to create a sense of uh, false hope or anything like that. Those are my concerns about pro of these letters at this time. Appreciate your thoughts. Um, I don't think it creates false hope. I don't think it'll do any more to increase divisions. I think what it does is that it lets our community know where we stand on this very important issue. Um, I, for one, think this whole Rockwell thing is immoral. I think building a factory next to an elementary school is about the most immoral thing that I've ever seen in my entire life. I think this uh, whole project has lacked transparency, accountability, and it, it really borders on, on something that no people should ever have to go through. People never had a choice. This was just foisted in our lap. I still don't have all the information on this project shuttle and how it came here and where it's going and what's going. And I think Rockwell will fundamentally damage our local economy for a generation to come, I think it's gonna decimate home values in the region around where it's being built. And I, for one, think we should go on the record and say that we don't want something that's gonna be located next to Charlestown that's gonna fundamentally damage our economy, fundamentally damage our way of life, and fundamentally damage the lives of people throughout this county. I mean, the one thing is those, while my son doesn't go to that elementary school, the people I know's children do. Those are our children. We have responsibility to those children and we shouldn't leave them hanging. And by making this statement, people at least know where we stand. And we gotta stand with what is moral and what is right. And those are my thoughts. And, and, I, as a, as a, All right, so I just want to make sure procedurally we do this right. There's a motion to table. I don't think we have a second. Um, yeah, second. We, we do have a second. I'm sorry. A motion to table is not debatable, so we need to vote first on whether or not to debate or to table the motion. If we do, you know, obviously it's tabled. If we don't, then we'll go back to the yeah. original. So appreciate our, appreciate our parliamentarian. Yeah. No, I'm just all right, so uh, all in favor of tabling? Say aye. 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 All those opposed? Nay. Oh. All right, four to four. Okay. All right. So we have two items for consideration. Um, one I worked on with uh, Councilman Brittingham and Councilman Tolbert. Uh, there was another one. That's a form of a statement. The other one is uh, in the form of a resolution, which Ann worked on, which I think is actually quite good as well. Um, again, personally, whether we do a statement or a resolution, I don't really have a, a, a particular choice. Um, but I actually wouldn't mind moving forward with the resolution that Ann proposed. Um, I personally think that it, it makes the statement, it makes it succinctly, um, and really at this point, I, I don't have anything to add to it. I, I helped, as you just said, I helped you work on the original one. Um, however, I also like Ann's resolution better, um, and I don't have too much to add to it. Mm -hmm. 
Right, then I'll make a motion to approve the resolution as presented. I'll second. I have a motion and a second. Uh, any further discussion? Yeah. yeah. To it. Although this is ops, clearly one of the best resolutions I've ever read. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> However, I would say on the now therefore be resolved, the city of Charlestown Council believes that Rockwell facility should have been located, I would say should be located in the yes, area absolutely. rather than have been. I like those others. All right, so. And I also just, I just wanted to make another point to, to your point, which is a good point by the way, is this does not stop the plant from being constructed. And all those issues that you pointed out to, I think that many people on this city council would probably agree with the majority of those. But just to be clear, this is a resolution that says where we stand, but it's not necessarily has any impact on whether or not Rockwell builds or doesn't. Yeah, that's 100%, you're 100% correct, Bob. And um, as the vote comes up, city council members, that certainly doesn't bind you in how you vote. You will, you'll vote your, certainly your conscience and what you feel the law is regarding. Well, does uh, it relieve us of our responsibility? Certainly, you're, you're very correct. It's, it's, it's a statement of, of values, I would say. <laughs> All right, so do we have a, a motion to uh, make the amendment Bob suggested? I will so accept moved. that change. Okay. Second. Oh, second. Motion and a second. Any further discussion on the amendment? Yes. Um, Hearing none. Oh, on the amendment. Uh, all in favor? I think Councilman Solberg. Time out. Another time amendment? Out. Go, no, go no. ahead. <laughs> it no, looks like you wanted to throw time out there. That's all. Go ahead. No. Um, uh, and Nick, you, make, you do make a couple of good points. Um, but I will point out that on November 19th, 2018, uh, we passed. 12, um, 11 guidance uh, points uh, for our Jefferson County Development Authority. Um, and all of these points, or resolution option number two, and resolution uh, basically captures this thing. And, and as you said, it, it does not, uh, this is not a legal document. It is a statement of, of that. From a perspective of um, someone who is um, in line to become JCDA representative, I think option two and uh, resolution actually strengthens the council's November 19th guidance document um, because they then, both of them focus on the one thing that we have been constantly saying is that comprehensive plans are important and ours and the other municipalities uh, do not have heavy industry built into those things. And um, it, it goes a long way, I think, when we have both a statement to our Jefferson County Development Authority guidance, and then we also have make a statement that uh, heavy industry is not envisioned in, in the Charlestown uh, comprehensive plan. So I, I think um, as many people in the audience will remember on Thursday night, uh, that was a reoccurring question from one of the Jefferson County commissioners. Uh, have you read the county's comprehensive plan? Do you know it? What is in it? And, and he was alluding to the fact that heavy industry is not built into that plan. And so comprehensive plans are important. And they were not, they were not, they were not used as guidance in this particular situation. And they should have been. So I will be voting for, for Ann's uh, thing. And I, I think it's, I think it's good, really good. I'm just, uh, I just want to clarify it. I'm not exactly thrilled that we're, that this body is well, put into this. If I could remember, oh, okay. I mean, we're talking about the amendment. Yeah, at, oh, the at amendment. This point. There you go. We haven't voted on the amendment, so okay. let's make sure so we're. That's we're uh, amendment, right? Right. Yeah. The amendment to change Bob's the language amendment. that uh, Mr. Debate. Trainer suggested. Good. Motion and second, so let's vote on the amendment. All in favor of Bob's amendment, say aye. 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 As opposed? Motion carries on the amendment.
So now back to discussion yeah. on the amended motion. Yeah, so I mean, I, I feel like I've been dealt a 2-7 offsuit and I have to make gold out of this and that's not easy, you know, to do. Um, but uh, I, I completely understand, um, you know, the everyone's feelings toward this and, and all that. It's just that I was not 100% sure exactly what this will do to benefit us. So that's all. And, and I agree. I, mean, I don't see what the point is, I mean, it's. And I, and I agree with the sentiment, but I, I think it's, it's clear. Y'all have been coming to our meetings for a really long time. We don't have a lot of bandwidth here uh, of what's going on here, but we, we are in the situation we're in. We're trying to do our best to get through every little bit of it. Um, I think we have support for this resolution, so I think I'll just shut up and let the vote take call. Just to say, the purpose of this resolution, in my mind, at least for me, is to show the community where we are. We've been talking about this now for since August it is the first time that we had the large turnout. We get dozens of people here every single meeting talking. Tonight was literally the first time uh, that we've ever had anybody in opposite or in um, favor of this project show up to speak with us. It's obviously it, it's it's I, I take offense when people call this a dividing topic. It's it's not it's not a dividing topic. It's controversial for sure. Um, but it's not dividing. Dividing means that you kind of have two equal sides that disagree about something. Um, in this scenario, whether, you know, the, the, the dozen people or so on the Internet want to scream as loud as they can about it, it doesn't change the numbers. The numbers are that this is something like a 95-5 or a 90-10 issue where the overwhelming majority of our community is against this thing. And we owe it to them. We, we can't just sit here day in, day out, every single day and listen to these people come up here and speak and, and act like we have no position on this whatsoever. We, it, it, obviously, we all have positions on it. And so this is a resolution to say what the position of the majority of the council of this town think. That's all it is. Thanks, everyone. Um, any further discussion? I almost feel like we've exhausted this topic. All right, hearing none, all in favor? Signify by aye. 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 All those opposed? No. no. So we have two votes. Hines and Zaglipa voting no. Okay. So. Do you want to take a break? Yeah, let's take. Um, we're going to take a, a five, ten minute recess and uh, freshen up, and we'll go get back to business. Well, the people. Are